All right, acountnews.com is here with the man who needs no formal introduction. What is up, Roy? Hey, what's happening, Brad? How you doing? Doing good, man. All right, let's get into this. Let's talk about last night's fights on HBO. Uh, of course, Andre Berto got, got a title again, IBF uh, welterweight championship over John Zavik. Give me your thoughts on the main event. I thought uh, Berto looked really, really well. Showed a lot of um, maturity in his comeback. Um, looks much more conditioned. Um, looks even stronger than he used to look. I think uh, Conte really did a good job with him, Victor Conte. And uh, I'm impressed with, with the way he looked last night. Uh, that's the type of fight that, the, he's the type of fighter that we'd like to see a floor man within the ring against. Uh, to me, and me even so more than a man Pacquiao because they both come from boxing backgrounds that were alike, that are similar. But with the Pacquiao situation, a fight like Marquez is a bit is a better boxing match because of their background. So for mm -hmm. me, Berto and Miguel would be a better situation than it would be Pacquiao. I mean, it was just like Pacquiao and Marquez about to be a, a hell of a situation more so than Pacquiao and Miguel. So I really like um, Berto did a great job last night. I know he's going to be seeking the winner of the Ortiz Mayweather fight, and I think he probably can get that. Uh, but then again, who knows? Sometimes when you look that good. Hard to get people to get in the ring with you. Yeah, now Floyd Mayweather, you know, some people say he cherry picks his opponents, some. Do you think he would want an Andre Berto? Um Well, I think you do like the public is doing now with the Pacquiao fight. If the public wants to see it, you don't have much other choice because what they'll do is they'll stop really paying to see him fight anybody besides who they want to see him fight. And uh I don't think Floyd has no problem fighting Berto. Uh Floyd is a guy that knows that's Basically, when he's active, he's pound pound one of the tops. So mm -hmm. he has no reason to duck or dodge nobody. And I give him, I give Floyd some credit because Victor Ortiz, um, you know, he beat Andre Berto pretty pretty thoroughly. I mean, Berto had his moments in that fight, of course. Um, but do you believe Victor Ortiz is just going to be not ex experienced enough to, to compete with Roy? I'm sorry, with Roy, with with Floyd, uh, or do you think Ortiz may surprise some people? Wouldn't even call it experience enough. Here, here's the way the way we look at boxing. Sometimes it's a tough sport. Uh, you deal by it, you know, and you have rules. And most of the time, in a situation with boxing, where it's Roberto Ortiz came back and beat him. It was just a great fight. With Madonna, Ortiz kind of gave it up. Yeah, he did. And he says he came back and changed that, but he's changed that when he's not been under that much pressure. He won't be able to change it once he's under that much pressure again. And that's what we are fearful of. So we are wondering, can he keep himself from getting in that much pressure again? That's what the real question becomes. Mm -hmm. Because if he gets in that much get that much pressure on himself again, or gets himself caught up in that same type of a situation with a Floyd Mayweather, we already know what he'll do. Do you believe Floyd Mayweather's defense and his ability to time He's a pretty good timer, man. I mean, do you think that would be provide a lot of fits for for Ortiz if they get in there? Well, yeah, when, to, to me, that's when exactly they get in there. That's what that's the only problem I saw him really giving men it because of his athleticism. He's different, and people talk about it, but you don't know about it until you get in there with it. Mm -hmm. You understand me? I was one of those guys that was like him who had it. So I know guys used to badly underestimate it until they get in there. Then they're like, whoa, because it <laughs> shocks you. So his athleticism definitely, definitely would be one of his stronger points against Ortiz. However, I still think Floyd is much more superior boxer than Ortiz anyway. But Ortiz does have a puncher's chance. Right. And Ortiz will punch. He's trying to make a new name for himself, and he's trying to work on keeping himself from getting in that situation that he makes the wrong decision again. And maybe he won't make the wrong decision again. Maybe he learned, like he said, from the last time and realizes that that was not the decision to make. Right. However, in boxing and as boxers, once we see a guy do that, we don't believe he ever can overturn his decision, his, his choice or his decision to make that bad decision. All right. So obviously, words don't describe what would happen if he beat Floyd Mayweather. That erases a lot of things. I mean, oh, yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> all right. Let's talk about Manny Pacquiao. It's it's Freddie Roach went on the record um, recently and and told the world that he believes Manny Pacquiao may be broke. Um, there there are some. You know, other other news sources that 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 say that, um, you know, Manny Manny's got some people in his circle that um, many people feel are are there with with uh, ulterior motives and 
you know, whatever. But you've been around this this game a long time. Um, what, what's some advice you can give Manny Pacquiao out there? Because I know Manny looks up to you a lot. Yeah, it's a live and die sport. And uh, unless you got somebody that understands what you're totally going through from your eyesight, it's very hard to deal with it. It's very hard to trust people. Uh, you don't have probably but a few people that's around that he even could think about trusting. So it'd be very difficult to make that decision, make that call, because I don't know none of these people like that. Yeah. However, the reason I, I used to deal with boxing, the reason I got into boxing is because I didn't like the way the promoters handled the fighters. Uh, I was with a certain promoter once, and we had a case with Vince Phillips. And he got Vince Phillips a fight for X amount of dollars, but then he took half of the purse that he got for him, and he, wanted, he and I split half of that and he gave Vince the other head. And I was like, we not fighting nobody. So I took three quarters of mine, or I took two thirds of mine, and gave it back to Vince. Fellas, because I don't want to rob nobody. Mm -hmm. That's not my thing. And we can make it, let's make it fair and honest to not rob people to do that. So, and it's like, what the problem is with people, and I'm gonna say this to the men too, is that when you have faith in God, we have to believe that. And if the people around you don't believe that, or don't have faith in people are gonna make mistakes but not criminal-minded mistakes because if you got faith in God, you know God is watching everything. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't make criminal-minded mistakes. I don't make criminal-minded mistakes. The mistakes I if I make mistakes because I honestly didn't know. The only kind of mistake I made make is not a criminal-minded mistake. It's a mistake that most men make, and mm -hmm. that's about it. But I'm not going to make a criminal-minded mistake because God is always watching me. And with that being said, I always keep my phone lines open and keep my myself open to talk to any guy because I feel like if people like Michael Jordan well not people like Michael Jordan if people like LeBron James would have called and questioned and discussed and had interactions with people like Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson before he made the decision he made then I think they would have better guided him in making future decisions so I hope in the future that if Manny does have issues or needs somebody to talk to that he would feel like he can call because I grew up doing the same things he grew up doing. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to sell cigarettes, but I did raise the game <laughs> chickens, and we know the, the tenacity and integrity of a game chicken raiser. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I couldn't do it no more, but he can. But I still understood the tenacity and our 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 uh, our integrity, I mean, of uh, what it was to do it and what we believed in. And it's like Ali, he either stood up for what he said, he was willing to die for what he believed. And that's what you have to always be willing to do if you're a real person. So for me, that's where I always was, and that's the story I probably always will be. And if Manny ever wants to talk to me to ask me what I think he should do or which direction to go in, I would glad to tell him. Not that I'm against nobody, no promoters, no managers, no nobody. I'm not against nobody. No, it's just, just a human being helping out another human being. being. Yeah, that's all it is. Now, if you were in Manny's corner, how would you instruct him to beat? Floyd Mayweather if they do fight? I would have to sit down and study it again and look at it closely. Um, I don't want to give bad advice right now without looking at it again. Mm -hmm. But I know Manny pretty well and I know Floyd pretty well. And um, there there are ways and things he can do to change the outcome of things. But he definitely has to change the way that he's fighting right now because Floyd is used to that. Mm -hmm. um, and seen it a lot. As a matter of fact, Mark is used to that. I learned over the years that you have, you have to give them a change up because if anything you do, no matter how good it is, if they consistently see it, they'll learn how to catch up with it. That is what's up. All right, Roy, look, man, always a pleasure having having you on board, A-Count News, man. I appreciate you coming by. Thank you. Um, give me some closing thoughts for all the Roy Jones fans out there. Closing thoughts to the Roy Jones fans is, um, first, God loves me and I still love God. and He always comes through when I need him most. Uh, secondly, I sparred last week for the first time in a long time. Felt kind of Jeff Lacey like him, man. Pretty, pretty <laughs> devastating. That's not good. Not I mean, it's not good for, for future other folks. people, yeah. <laughs> Thirdly, uh, I love boxing so much that I watch fights, I commentate fights, I advise people on fights, but nobody will force me out of boxing until I'm ready to go. And they need to understand that. When I get ready, I'll leave. That's what's all. All right, bro, I appreciate the time. Thank you.